All right, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. It is the Earthmaster here, about 9.45 p.m. California time, August 19th, 2024 is the date. 2.8 earthquake, the latest quake there on the globe. Um, looks like the EMSC data is working on uh, this globe here, so I'll have to check back on that. But we got Southern California lighting up out here, actually a, a good swath of the area with a lot of little quakes here in the last hour. Uh, the latest one, a 2.5 up here in the uh, Nevada area, California State, uh, California and Nevada line here. Uh, a couple other smaller quakes across the area. Um, looks like it's about ready to increase out here. Good portion of the state uh, down south seeing some elevated activity with uh, earthquake activity all over the place. A lot of smaller quakes. As far as anything above 2.5, uh, looks like, uh, well, it's going to be that 2.5 there in Nevada. A couple other smaller quakes down uh, south as well, but uh, mainly microquake activity. I'll continue to keep an eye on that because we have some movement down in Baja, California as well. And overall, yeah, it looks like an overall increase out here across the southern portion of the state. Uh, Northern California, very quiet for the most part. I got one earthquake here at the Cascadia subduction zone. That's uh, going to be a 1.7 from earlier this evening. About eight miles deep here into that subduction zone. A little bit of activity up in the, the Washington and Oregon region as well. A couple ones and uh, some twos in there as well. Nothing major going on. Just uh, looks like a little bit of uh, increasing activity out here. Let's check the um, trimmer map here tonight real quick. See what we have. And uh, still, still got quite a bit here. 555 epicenters of trimmer. A um, little bit here, a little bit there. Everywhere there's uh, some trimmer activity tonight, it looks like. Well, this is over the last 24 hours. Um, even some down here in Northern California. It seems as though right now any trimmer activity is triggering uh, earthquake activity upstream here. Like we've seen that quake uh, down here recently, 1.7. So it does look like uh, strain obviously building up here on the southern end. And... Uh, quite active up here in the north as well. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, nothing going on here for now. Just a little small microquake, but I do want to check this real quick. See what, this is obviously an error, some type of, um, yeah, a technical error. Really no earthquake activity showing up here. Some wind events from earlier, uh, maybe some wind and thunderstorms as well late afternoon early evening time period over there in Yellowstone but uh, really no earthquake activity popping up here that I can see anywhere on the graphs uh, Texas area in Oklahoma fairly uh, quiet out in Oklahoma Texas got a little bit of movement here in the oil fields today New Madrid seismic zone pretty quiet out there eastern portion of the country not a whole lot going on Let's take a look here at the Hawaii area where we're uh, watching a little bit of uptick here go on in the last 24 hours. Noticing a little pattern once again stretching down here towards the upper, uh, the uh, lower east rift zone. So let's give a quick glance here and see what we got for the latest information on Kilauea Volcano there on the big island where um, things are quite pressurized underneath the area. Let's see what we got for deformation data. Slowly going up here, not a huge uptick, but uh, we're gradually rising here in terms of the inflation, and we are the the uh, we're well above the previous level seen here back in the end of July when we seen that magma displacement there from the summit off to the upper East Rift Zone. So just a uh, you know a waiting game each day though it gets closer to when we're going to see uh, some activity out here. In terms of eruption or at least maybe some type of magma intrusion somewhere. Uh, earthquake activity, you can see it there on the 12-hour graph, quite active. And uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, out and about here, a little bit of activity on the uptick here across the northern edge of the Pacific Plate. That includes areas around Russia here where we've seen that 7-pointer a couple days ago few more aftershocks coming in, five-pointer last night, and a couple other fours here today so far as well. But I am noticing uh, some slight uptick here across this area of the plate boundary, mostly just prior to the subduction zone. So a couple threes out here, uh, 3.1 in there as well. 
no major uptick, but definitely uh, a handful of earthquakes across that length of the uh, Aleutian Trench there. Some small quake activity there in the Cook Inlet outside of Anchorage, but uh, for now, mostly smaller microquake activity up there. Uh, let's see here. New Zealand, 3.9. It looks like an older quake there from uh, from this morning. Let me see here what we got for the latest activity on the EMSC. Timothy here was saying something that the uh, EMSC is not updating their quakes. Hard to say. Um, I don't see anything in the last hour, which is a little, definitely a little odd. So, huh. Have to check back on that. I mean, there's some older activity on the globe there from the EMSC, obviously here in the Philippines region and elsewhere, but yeah, not a whole lot going on, at least uh, according to the EMSC around these areas for now. Uh, Philippines, yes, yeah, seen a handful of threes and fours, but uh, that's really not out of the norm for them in that area. Looks like a 5.1 out in the, let's see where that five pointer is at. Uh, India area, north. Well, it's, it looks like it's. Yeah, I guess it's listed here as the uh, northern India region for 5.1 and a 5.1. Couple minutes um, between those two quakes there, but still, uh, it's a decent uh, couple decent magnitudes there. Some moderate quake activity. Uh, there's Wow, there's actually a 3.7 here on the uh, international map here from the USGS in Turkey. Quite rare to see a, a lower magnitude there on the map. Mediterranean area, some 2s and 3s as noted. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet uh, for now. And, um, you know, it's just... I guess we'll kind of see what happens here. I want to go check out Iceland here real quick and see... What we have here for the latest earthquake data. And uh, let's see here. Not a whole lot. Got about 83 epicenters of earthquake activity there. Here's all the smaller microquakes as well. Um, but really not seeing anything of abnormal activity. They have been consistent as far as these little microquakes uh, go. But uh, really no intensifying of that earthquake activity, which would be telling me that there's a, you know, an imminent eruption. So right now, just minimal earthquake activity. Obviously quite swollen underneath this region in terms of inflation. And uh, just a matter of time here before we see that activity on the uptick as well. In terms of inflation. Uh, Japan, okay, so we mentioned this one off the coast of Russia. A little bit of activity here in Japan. Um, earlier this uh, afternoon, it looks like a 4.7 coming into that region. Uh, but right now, the west coast here looks a little on the active side on a broader scale of things. So Cal State Bakersfield right here picking up a little earthquake. A couple small spikes up in Petrolia. It does look like things are currently on the uh, elevated side here across this area of the plate boundary from north to south uh, so we'll be on guard out here definitely keep an eye on things here uh, the latest one there's that 1.6 coming in within the last 10 minutes i believe that's going to be this earthquake here uh maybe this earthquake here when was that 2149 yeah so that would put that at uh 49 would be roughly about here so that is a 1.6 showing up there on the Cal State Bakersfield seismograph station. A couple of smaller quakes up there in Northern California, but, uh, you know, definitely just be on guard out here. I don't, like I said, like I've been saying, I don't think we're done uh, with the earthquake activity out here in Southern California. We've been seeing it calm down a little bit here over the last couple days, but it's been consistent. And, uh, you know, more recently tonight, things on the uptick out here. So be on guard for some further movement. Uh, space weather activity here real quick. An M flare coming in, it looks like. An M1.2. Decent uh, little M flare right here. We did see a little larger one earlier today up in the, uh, uh, looks like maybe the M3.7 range. That, uh, not for sure where that came from which sunspot area, but uh, 
we do have a number of uh, sunspots. There's that flare right here, it looks like right now from this area. A little bit of in flare activity. And that is coming off of uh, 3796, it looks like, the one that I said to watch, right? Out of all of these, I picked this one, and it looks like uh, I was on the right choice there because it is flaring up here with some in flare activity. Uh, the rest of these regions here are really not quite complex. This area is venturing off to the western limb. will be out of sight, out of mind, probably by tomorrow morning. So we'll continue to keep an eye on this one as uh, it's thrown off some M-flare activity and it's got a couple days here to go before it's into the Earth-directed view completely. But uh, anything that does blast off here could be geo-effective in terms of CME activity. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that sunspot number 3796, source of the current M-flare activity. Uh, no major roars in the forecast here for now. Things are um, fairly quiet in that department. Uh, current day one outlook. It looks like uh, some thunderstorms earlier today up in uh, northern Plain states and eastern Colorado. Uh, is this for today? Let's see here. Yeah, so this is going to, yeah, I, bl I believe this is for today. Overnight into uh, early tomorrow morning. Uh, and for the day on Tuesday, here's the uh, forecast. A little bit broader view of thunderstorm activity out here. Nothing major going on, but some wind and hail threats. Really no tornado potential. Um, trying to think what else is there, folks. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the EMSC model. I, it, it's hard to say if it's working or if it's not working. Um, latest earthquakes here. Let's see what we got. Uh, 3.4. In uh, Chile, three hours and 27 minutes ago. That seems a little... Um, yeah, it does seem like a long time ago. It should be more recent quake activity on there, so it looks like they're blacked out for uh, three and a half hours or so. I'm sure they'll come back. Uh, I want to show you guys some cooler weather that we have coming out here. Oh, oh what do we got? That was a little weird. Got a little bit of cooler weather coming up here uh, this weekend for California. Uh, check out these temp anom anomalies. Got, of course, the blue, purple colors. That's some colder air. Um, looks like the northeast here getting a, a nice little taste of fall. California is going to have its little taste of fall as well. Look at that come Friday. That is uh, probably... Oh, I don't know, 15, maybe up to 20 degrees below average out here. Uh, we're supposed to be in the upper 70s outside of Chico, California here for uh, th for Friday and uh, I think Saturday, Thursday and Friday. Either way, a couple days here. So that's going to be nice, nice and cool. Look at that deep, low-pressure trough there centered right over northern California. Thank you very much. Uh, hotter air up into Montana, northward into Canada. And uh, that's not going to stick around for too long. Um, at le it looks like maybe at least Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Monday, the heat returns. Figures back out here to California. Uh, this area of the country around the Great Lakes is going to get uh, a little cooking as well. As far as the temperature goes. And uh, it looks like maybe some more colder weather here for the Northeast as we end August. So, well... You know, I'll take any cold snap that we can get. Upper 70s compared to upper 90s and low 100s. I'll take the 70s any day. Uh, far as precipitation goes, total accumulated precipitation runs through the end of August. <coughs> Excuse me. Not a whole lot here for California. Oregon, Washington, they've been seeing some thunderstorm activity up there. Looks like they'll get a little bit more. Some monsoonal moisture down south. Uh, overall, though, not anything major uh, to worry about in terms of accumulated precipitation out here over the next couple of weeks. It almost looks like there's they're getting a little couple a couple little earthquakes in there. If uh, all these little bumps here are earthquakes, that's the one point. Uh, what was that one? Let me see here. 
The latest one was a 1. 1.5. So if that's a 1.5 right here, maybe some of these other ones are obviously a little bit smaller, but that's still earthquake activity. Hard to say. But uh, either way, just be on guard, folks. Um, we do have a little bit of uptick out here. Noticeable. And uh, we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning sometime. Have a uh, great Monday night. Stay safe out there, folks.